Well, happy Thanksgiving from the Real World Garage. Hope you're having a great Thanksgiving holiday season, and everybody knows what tomorrow brings. Tomorrow is Black Friday. That will be the official kickoff to the holiday shopping season. So what did we do? Well, we went out and found 10 things for the handy person in your home. So come along and we'll show you what we got. All right, so we made a trip out to Harbor Freight and we picked up 10 items that we think are would be very useful for the at-home DIYer. I'm gonna go ahead and say this at the beginning, we're not gonna break down the cost of each piece, but I will say this. The most expensive item was $12.99, and the least expensive was a, about a dollar and a half. So, I will show you the least expensive item, and I will uh, show you what the most expensive item was. Everything else that I show you will be in the middle of that range. So, let's get started. We'll start with that $12.99 item. All right, so, one of the items that we picked up, and it's useful for any DIYer is a good set of ratchet straps. These have the, the coated hooks to prevent marring. It's a one inch wide strap. If you're gonna haul, tote, or do anything, you can actually use these to bundle things together. Uh, a set of ratchet straps are always handy. And this was the item that was $12.99. So, see if I can find the item real quick there it is and this is probably the cheapest item we had on there and it is a it's a little LED flashlight turns into a flashlight on that end and a broad light on this end it has a way to hang it up has a hook and it also has a magnet to where you can stick it on a metal surface in the back found this to be very handy. I've owned several of these. Um, you get, they go bad, you can just throw it away. This was the item, it was around a dollar and a half. So, let's put that there. One of the other items we picked up, a pair of good work gloves. These are their professional series and they have good uh, impact resistance on the back of the fingers. They have the leatherette palm, um, with the padded area in the palm. Everybody can always use a good pair of work gloves no matter what you're doing. Handling wood, whether you're heavy, handling heavy metal parts, um, these are always welcome by your at-home DIYer. And as a professional mechanic, I always love a good pair of new gloves. All right, this is the four-in-one screwdriver. When I first got one of these, it was offered to me through a coupon free with purchase. And I actually got one of these one time. Um, this screwdriver I found to be, I was real, I've been really impressed with it. I've had it for two or three years and it's really handy to have because you've got four different screwdriver blades all in one piece. So this is very handy to have and it is actually better quality than you might think. I've actually, like I said, been using it for several years and it's one of my go-to screwdrivers. So, there you go. A pair of safety glasses. Who is always looking for their safety glasses? I'm one of those guys. Can't ever remember. So you can't have too many pairs of safety glasses. These things are always getting lost. So. Always good to have around. Keep your, keep your uh, eyes. You only got two. Was walking along and I said, saw this little pack of uh, microfiber cloths. Almost always seem like you have to have something needs to be wiped down, glass cleaned, automobile finish wiped off, especially after you get through working on it, you may have greasy fingerprints. These are nice and handy, and they're the microfiber, so they're very gentle on the finish. Uh, uh, there's thousands of uses with your microfiber towel. Inexpensive, always welcome in my shop. This is the automotive trim and molding tool set. I have used these in more applications besides the automotive side. 
Um, I have used them around the home. If you need to pry or pick at something and you're afraid you're going to mar the surface, you, have a, you stand a better chance of not doing that with the uh, plastic. They work very well for removing internal trim inside an automobile. And like I said, I have used them around the home, particularly around glass, where I have needed to try to pry a piece of trim around a glass piece of glass. This will help you get in there, it won't scratch the glass, and you won't break the glass. Or at least you stand a better chance of not breaking the glass. This little trim set, very handy. I love these. Magnetic parts tray. Can't say enough about your magnetic parts tray, especially if you're working in the automotive application or if you know somebody that works uh, with metal parts and they take little bitty things apart, gunsmith. Um, I can't think of anything else off the top of my head, drawing a blank at the moment, but if you know somebody that deals with little bitty metal parts, they can lay their nuts, bolts, and screws in this tray and stick it to the workbench. And when they go back to get them later, they haven't rolled away. These little metal parts trays, magnetic parts trays, are very handy. Always welcome in my shop. And when I'm in the shop and I need to clean my hands up real quick, sometimes I get a phone call and my hands are covered in grease and funk, I can reach for one of these and real quickly wipe my hands off, get them clean, and don't have to run to a sink. The Tubbo Tile brand. Um, I've used these before. They're really handy to have around. You can use them to wipe down tools and uh, parts. You can use them for all kinds of things, but these are handy to have around. And one of the last items in my bucket, anything that squeaks, gets frozen with rust, sticks, you've got your good WD-40. And the, the, the one, whoever invented this flip out, nozzle a few years ago that is absolutely because i mean look who's always looking for the lost straw gets it comes off the side of the can you stick it in and next thing you know you're hunting it again whoever came up with that little invention they made a bunch of money but anyway like i said wd-40 this is the uh, rust penetrant formula use it on locks safe on plastic safe on rubber this is something to have handy around the shop for your DIYer. Always tinkering, always trying to get stuff working again. This will help them. And last but not least, the very bucket itself. Buckets are always handy to have around the shop. Whether or not, whether you're trying to keep dry goods for camping or if you're trying to carry a few tools to a job site, a five gallon bucket with a sealable lid to keep everything dry and intact, always handy to have. All right, so there you go. There's 10 quick DIY suggestions. Even as a professional mechanic, I'd be happy to get any one of these items. And don't forget, number 11, the bucket. You can always use a bucket. Thanks for coming by the Real World Garage. We hope you have a safe and happy holiday season.